Hello, good evening. Hi, Hilma. Hi, Rene. Hi, Marta. Hi, Bessie. Hi, Magali. Hi, Iris. Hello. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank yeah. you. Did you have dinner already? Dinner? Yes? No. Not yet. Not yet. Aún no. Okay, not yet. Aún no. Aún okay, no. Aún no es not yet. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. More is last, más tarde. Later. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. not yet es aún no. Uh -huh. Not yet. Me too, not yet. I'm hungry. I, uh -huh. I smell beans. <laughs> Good evening, Bessie, Magali, Iris, Hilma. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Hilma. How are you? Hi, Gerardo. Hi, Arlen. Hello. I can listen to you very soft. Hello, teacher. Hi, Gerardo. Mm -hmm. Very far away. Okay. Bien lejitos, la escucho. Super far away, but don't worry, okay? Okay, guys, wow. So yesterday we were talking about job, right? Remember? So we were talking, we were making a list. Hicieron su listita de word bank from A to C, the different uh, professions. Did you make it? Yes? Yes. Okay. Did you finish o le faltó alguna letra por ahí? Did you finish all of them or was there any letter missing? ¿Alguna letra que les haya faltado? What letter? De la A a la Z, ¿qué profesión con qué letra les faltó? What profession or what job was missing? En su listita. Mm -hmm. No, don't remember. <clears throat> okay. Bueno, it's okay if you didn't finish the list, but then again, that's the idea. Every time you have new vocabulary, cuando tengan nuevo vocabulario, always create your list, okay? From A to C for uh, parts of the house, for professions, for food, for any topic, create your list. That way you can develop vocabulary, okay? Es una buena idea, it works. It's very useful, okay? So we're going to review a little of what we saw yesterday. Let's go ahead and let me take you to the platform. Let's see, let's go to the platform. So we're talking about jobs, vocabulary, and activities. Let's start with this so we can do the knowledge check together just to make sure we're on the same page. You learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Okay. Two. So we were missing one. For example, we were missing receptionist. We didn't have that one, right, in our list. Do you remember? La teníamos en nuestra lista? I don't think so. No, we had recruiter. So the next one is receptionist. Okay, receptionist, very good. Uh, our next one, let's see, let's find out in our video, okay. She's a doctor. Do we have doctor? Three, she's a nurse. Four, he's a pilot. Five, she's a flight attendant. Six, 
He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that we will use. I will go back a little bit here. Okay, let me go there. So we have cashier. We spoke about cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant is a new one under F, maybe. Flight attendant, okay. Flight attendant is um aeromosa or aeromoso either or flight attendant okay that is a profession too and then we have judge juez a judge is a juez and a lawyer abogado okay and then you have lawyer don't have it here <clears throat> then we have musician let's see yes we have it here musician um nurse i think we have it yes we do have it nurse okay then we have pilot let's see if we have pilot yes we have it here um police officer we don't have police officer police officer okay what else receptionist yes we do have receptionist um salesperson we i think we have it sales person we're missing that person salesperson okay security guard we don't have it agente de seguridad security guard la uno se pronuncia so it's guard security guard okay security guard so you don't pronounce the guard no guard security guard then we have singer. I think we do have singer. Let's see. Yeah, no, yes. Yes, we do have singer. Okay, singer, okay. Mm, then we have waiter and waitress. Waiter, eh, mesero, waitress, mesera, okay. Waitress, waiter, okay, very good. Yeah, we do. Waiter and waitress. Waitress and waiter. Very good. Ok. Les quiero enseñar algunas que probablemente no están y de las que no hablamos. Tenemos costurera y sastre. Entonces, un tailor es un sastre. A tailor is somebody who sews for men. And a seamstress is costurera. Seamstress. Seamstress. That's a costurera. So that's, those are two new words. Let me show you. I'm here. Uh, seamstress. Okay. Look. Seamstress. Okay. A seamstress. Costurera. And Taylor Sastre. Okay. Sastre. A tailor. Like Taylor yeah. Swift, like the artist too. Okay. Like a name too. Taylor and seamstress. ¿Qué otra? Se les ocurre, veamos de la A a la Z que nos hace falta. Para G, ok, what can we have with G? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gardener, we can have gardener. Ajá, uh -huh. somebody who takes care of the garden. Gardener. Jardinero, that's a gardener, okay. Very good, what else can we have with G? Mm -hmm. Geographer, geographer too, okay. Geographer, 
geographer would be just to have two geographer very good what about h professions with the letter h oh hairdresser the person who cuts your hair too okay hairdresser y aquí podemos agregar para los caballeros barber so it's different hairdresser and barber okay it has to do with the beard and the mustache it's a barber mm -hmm. for men and for women a hairdresser a hunter no no considero una, una profesión historian historiador it could be another one historian very good Oh. Okay. I'm sorry? Housewife. Very good. Housewife. It's a 24-7. <laughs> Una profesión 24-7. Yes. A housewife. <laughs> okay. A mom, a housewife. You're a mom, a housewife, a teacher, a cook, a psychologist, a, a seamstress. Todas las profesiones. It's a housewife. <laughs> All the professions. Okay. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Let's see. With the letter I. Okay, yeah. let's see professions with the letter I. Engineer. Investigator. No, engineer is con la E. So investigator. Uh -huh. Investigator, investigador. Okay, investigator, it's with the letter I. Uh -huh. Illustrator, ilustrador. Okay, that's another one. Illustrator. Okay, very good, illustrator. Then with the J, judge. Let's see if we find another one. Mm -hmm. Inspector. Janitor, inspector. Very good. I like this one. Inspector. Like inspector gadget. Inspector. And here, las personas que hacen el oficio o la limpieza en una oficina se llaman janitors. Okay? Janitor. So that's another one, okay? Now, what happens with the letter K? Mm -hmm. Professions with the letter K, let's see. Mm. Let's see with the letter K, we can have, sure. yes. With J and journalist. Very good, also journalist, uh -huh. Excellent, very good, thank you. With the letter K, I don't find professions or jobs. Hmm. Yes, keeper. Pero sería como zookeeper, for example. Eh, alguien que cuida bosques, for example. Or somebody who takes care of the el zoológico, zookeeper. So just keeper is alguien que cuida algo. Como un guardián. So keeper is just guardián. Y antes de keeper le ponemos la palabra, o sea, Cui, eh, zoológico keeper, um, bosque keeper. So it would be zoo keeper or forest keeper or farm keeper, okay? So it, it could be a profession. Okay, let's see with the letter Q. I don't have something with the letter Q. Let's see. Hmm. With the letter Q. Yeah, quarterback, but it's not a profession. It's just a sport. Hmm. Yeah, we have queen, but queen is not a profession. Okay, well, we'll leave this one in blank. We don't have with the letter U. Let's find out if we have one with the letter U so we can move forward. Ufologist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it could be a profession. Alguien que estudia, somebody who studies the UFOs, los objetos 
no identificados, ok, como ovnis, that's a ufolo ufologist, ufologist, <laughs> that was interesting. What about the letter V? Let's see what we have with the letter V. Vet, we saw it yesterday, veterinarian, okay. Or what else? Yeah, maybe vet would be the most common one. Then with the letter X, no, I don't think so. A, Y? Okay, uh-huh, a yard man, okay. A yard man, el barrendero. Okay, o barrendera, yard man. Mm -hmm. Yard man, very good. And then we'd see, we don't have. Okay, that would be our A to C professions. If you stay in mass, add them, okay? Like yesterday, artist, model, singer, and all the rest that we saw yesterday, okay? I will send you the list at the end of class, okay? I will send the list on WhatsApp so you can have it. You say hi, regan las suyas, in case you don't have them. Okay, moving forward, let's go back to the platform. I want, hoy quiero todos en la plataforma because we're going to be working on the platform today. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. Hi, Miss. In a Living. store. Good evening. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples, and then I would like for you to make your own. Doctor works in a hospital. Okay, now that we have the first example, this is what I want you to do also as, as homework. Okay, como tarea, quiero que empiecen a elaborar sus propias oraciones. So, tener el vocabulario sí está bien, pero podemos empezar a elaborar nuestras propias oraciones. Por ejemplo, él ponía el ejemplo del doctor. Yo voy a poner el ejemplo también. A doctor. Um, works in a hospital. The same example. Okay, but I can say, for example, a cashier uh, works in a store or a restaurant or a supermarket or okay, a place, a bank, excellent. A business administrator works in an office. Okay. La idea es que vayan haciendo sus propias oraciones, your, your own sentences, okay? That's the idea, for you to make like your own sentences and for you to eh, learn a little bit more about cada profesión. So it's going to be like a homework that I want you to do so you can practice with the professions to make like your own sentences like here, okay? It's like for you to start making like your own sentences con las diferentes profesiones, okay? It's an, it would be a good idea. Make sentences para practicar, to practice. Okay? This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. And something else I forgot. Perdón, se me olvidó. But la idea is places, dividimos las oraciones en places and activity. Okay, so what do you do? You make, hacen una oración de lugar y luego hacen una oración de cada actividad por profesión. Okay, el lugar donde trabaja, donde se desenvuelve esa persona. Y el lugar y la actividad que hace, ¿ok? ¿Qué hace? Visitar pacientes, visit patients, 
o sea, la idea es que empiecen a elaborar. Yo sé que tienen poquito vocabulario, pero que intenten y busquen las palabras, ¿ok? You can find the words to start structuring. Está bien, ahorita no se preocupen por la estructura de la idea, es que traten de comunicar una idea corta. So you start making sentences, not just vocabulary, but try to connect and make sentences, ¿ok? That would be a very good exercise to do. Activities and play. An activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that was just a video. Let's go ahead and let's try to, okay, so let's try to do the knowledge check together. Okay, by looking at each example. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes ya lo hicieron, but let's try to do it. Okay, so we have a receptionist, a doctor, and a nurse. Look at the picture and answer correctly the profession of each one. Okay, number one, what is his job? He is a receptionist. What is her job? She is a doctor. Hmm. What, what is her job? She is a nurse, okay? Now, this is just the example. Aquí hay un error si se fijan porque dice what's her job? She's a doctor. Y realmente, yeah, yeah, it's true. She's a doctor. Es una she. I thought it was him. Okay, never mind. Let's go to X number four. What is his job? My answer is. Pilot. Pilot. Pero la, la oración completa. He's a pilot. Sería, he, perdón. Mm -hmm. He is. He is a pilot. A pilot. A pilot. A pilot. Very good. A he pilot. He's a pilot. He is a pilot. He is a pilot. Very good. That's pretty him. What is her job? She okay. is. She is. She is. A flight, um, flight attendant. Excellent. She's a flight attendant. Y si yo le pregunto a usted, what is your job? Usted me contesta en primera persona. Okay. Or um, I am a cashier, an auditor, a businessman, a salesperson, a messenger, a driver, a nurse, a doctor, a teacher. Okay. So you're different professions. What is your job? I am a, okay? What is her job? Estamos hablando de alguien más, de una tercera persona. Very good. Let's go with our next one. What is his job? His job? He is a? He is, he is a musician. 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 Good. What is her job? She is a? Singer. 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 Very good. He's a singer. She's a singer. What is her job? She's, She's a, a judge. She's a judge. Very good. What is his job? He's, He's a police officer. ¿Dónde va mi tilde? Police officer. Police officer. Police. Police officer. Excellent. Police, Police officer. officer. Very good. What is his job? Our next one. He's, He's, He's a, a lawyer. A lawyer. 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 Excellent. Very good. He's a lawyer. Our next one. What's his job? He's a cook. He's a cook. He's a cook. Chef and chef. Y hablamos, ajá, y hablamos de lo mismo. Si en el lugar no pueden contratar a un chef porque es muy caro, puede ser ambas posiciones. He's a cook and a chef. Pero son diferentes. The cook es quien realmente cocina y el chef es quien da las instrucciones o las instrucciones para, para las recetas. So he's a cook or a chef. Very good. Okay. Oh, chef. What is his job? He is a? He's a waiter. He's a waiter. waiter. He is a waiter. Waiter. He's a waiter. And her job is? She is a? She is a waitress. 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 Waiter. Waitress. Very good. Our next waiter, one. Waiter. Waitress. What is his job? 14. He is, he is a sales person. Salesperson. Okay, very good. He's a salesperson. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What about 15? What is her job? She's, She's a cashier. cashier. A yeah. cashier. She's a cashier. A cashier. Uh -huh. cashier. Cashier. She's a cashier. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. 
Okay, what about number 16? She is a security word. Ah, it's a she. Okay. It's a she. She is. Uh huh. Now, here is like yesterday. It's like yesterday we were talking about policeman, police woman. So it's the same for ah, men. Yeah. So you could say security woman or security man, security guard. Okay, it's either or. It's fine. Pero también se puede decir woman, okay? So it's aceptable. Okay. She's a security guard. Very good. Okay, le voy a submit. Me imagino que me va a dar algunos errores. Maybe some mistakes. Oh, no. Excellent. Ah, oh, this one. Yes. Okay. Pua, pua, pua. Just one. Two. He's a pilot. Ah, por el punto, quizás. Okay. He's a pilot. What about this one? Why do you think maybe... Ahí probablemente tendríamos que seleccionar solo una. Maybe one. Okay, let's see. Submit. Yeah, excellent. Good job. Sí. Wow. Okay. Questions or chata or water? Water. water. Good job, guys. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're awesome. Good job. Okay. Let's continue to our next exercise because today's platform, we're going to be working to, to get to the midterm. Okay. Uh, let's go with Pronunciation, reduction of do and does, okay? Let's take a look at the video really quick and let's do the exercise together. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? In English, in English, a eso se le llama liaison. ¿Qué son liaison? Liaison es cuando tenemos dos palabras y las unimos and we run them through como el cantadito que nosotros conocemos. Entonces es esa melodía que une dos palabras. Where are you? Where, no es where do you, sino que es where do you? Where do, you, where do you? Where do you? Where do you? Where do you? De corridito. Okay. So, where do you? If we analyze the. Where do you? Try. Where do you? Where do you work? Where do you work? Y empezamos despacio. Nos va a costar al principio. Where do you work? Where do you? Where do you? Where do you work? Where do you work? Repetición. Es muy importante. It's going to be a very good exercise for you. Todos. Quiero que lo hagan para que se practiquen y pierdan la pena. Where do you work? Where do you where work? work? Where do you 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 work? Entonces ya no se escucha where do you work, sino que se escucha más natural. Where do you work? Where do you work? Y la respuesta sería I work at, 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 and then the place, okay? What do you do? Next one. What? What do you do? Try. What do you do? What do you do? I say, what do you? 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 What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you work? What do you do? Okay. See. Very good. Now our next one. Where does he work? Where does he? Where is he? Where is he? Where does he work? Where, where does he work? Oh, where is he? Where is he? Where, where is, is he? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Yo sé que es difícil al principio, pero poco vamos a ir agarrando el esa fluidez, parte de la fluidez y el ejercicio que tienen que ser repetición, repetición, repetición. Les va a ayudar muchísimo. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What is he? What is he? What is he do? Yeah. What is he? What is he? 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Example. Where do you work? Where do you? If you notice, where do you, work? you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Where do you? Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called link in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? Where As do I mentioned, you? this where is a very you? big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Does he? Does he? Does he? Where do they work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? Where does he work? Where does he work? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like to practice in the neighbor TV Where does he work? And notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? Where, where do you work? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where does he work? So then again, pronunciation, practice, okay? Practice. <coughs> Give me one minute. <coughs> mm. Me hicieron llorar. You made me cry. <coughs> okay, let's continue. Oh. Okay. Was that? Fue sin querer, mis. Sí, la pronunciación. En algo bien importante. Para la pronunciación, mucha agua, porque les puede pasar lo que me acaba de pasar a mí. Que de repente, you feel like, oh, oh. Right, so you need to drink a lot of water. A lot of water. Pronunciation is goes with a lot of water, okay? Okay, so moving forward, we do it thus. Let's go with our next topic. Okay, vamos a ir al midterm. We're going to get to the midterm. Okay, um, check it out. It's simple present questions with WH. Algo que empezamos a ver, which is what questions, where, when, why, etc. Let's take a look. Solo para repasar un poquito. Miss, what a question. Okay, for this exercise, what I want you to do is the following. We're not going to use, nunca me ha usado como utilizar las conversaciones de ahí porque me interesa que ustedes lo apliquen a su vida. Entonces lo vamos a hacer con ustedes mismos. Okay, entonces la estructura sería algo así. Let's do it together. It would be something like, where do you work? La pregunta. Where do you, Luis, where do you work? No está proyectando. Ah, perdón. Oh, okay. Perdón. My bad. No, pero ahorita no estoy proyectando. Estoy en la pantalla principal. Pero les puse esa conversación. So, no, esa conversación no, sino que basada en ustedes o con ustedes. Like, like this. Where do you work? The first question. Where does your brother work? No, no me interesa. It's where do you work? Entonces, mi respuesta sería, I, I'm going to give you my example. So, ustedes ocupanlo para ustedes mismos. No me tienen que compartir la empresa donde trabajan. You can do it for yourself. For example, I'm going to take somebody. Ahí me dijeron Kimberly Clark. I work for Kimberly Clark, creo. Okay. Kimberly Clark, me dijeron. Um, okay. That would be one. Um, 
How do you like it? ¿Qué tanto te gusta? How do you like it? Si es positivo, if it's positive, ¿cuál va a ser mi respuesta? I love it. Ok. Me encanta. I like it. Me encanta. I love it. Ok. Si no me gusta, ¿qué voy a responder? Um, eh, how do you like it? Um, I do not like it very much. No me gusta mucho. Ok. I don't like it very much. Y pueden ser varias razones. For example, uh, I don't like it very much because of el horario, schedule, maybe, uh, because of my boss, quizás su jefe, uh, because of the distance, la distancia. You live in my distance is cool. Okay, I like distance, uh, the schedule, el horario, schedule, distance, the boss. Um, ¿Qué más podría hacer porque no le gusta su trabajo? Ah, the, the pay. Okay. No lo quería decir, conste. <laughs> because of the pay. Because of so, the pay. Ajá, por, so. por, por el salario. Oh, en vez de decir the pay, podemos decir because of the salary, ¿ok? Es lo mismo, because of the salary. ¿Ven cuántas negativas? Una positiva de ahí como 20 sí, negativas sí. le acabo de dar. ¡Qué barbaridad! Because of the salary. O si le encanta, podría decir, I love it, I like it, um, and so on and so forth. ¿Ok? Eh, that's too bad. What hotel do you work for? Mi pregunta sería, what company do you work for? ¿Ok? Si no le he mencionado antes, en este caso ya lo mencioné. Where do you work? I work for Kimberly Clark. What company do you work for? Es lo mismo. Okay. Um, I work for, um, I don't know, Super Selectos. In the name of the company. I work for, y el nombre de la empresa. Um, oh, that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do you do? Entonces, ese es como para saber mi profesión. What do you do? Entonces, yo digo... I am a teacher. Yo hablo de mi profesión. I'm a teacher. Y lo que hago, siempre agrego, no solo lo, mi profesión, pero me gusta agregar, eh, por ejemplo, Hilma. Hilma dice que es maestra de primaria. ¿Qué grado? Segundo, primero, segundo, tercero. Kinder. Second. 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 Okay, so you say I am a, inclusive puede agregar, I am a second grade teacher uh -huh. or um, let me see who else who else who else si alguien dijo I am a auditor I am a que tipo de auditor okay I am a executive for example executive auditor Executive auditor, for example. Okay, so that's the example. Lo que do, mi actividad, donde trabajo y mi actividad, el lugar de trabajo y mi actividad. Es bien importante de su carrera, cada uno. If you're a business person, a sales, a general, a human resources generalist, a cashier, a merchandiser. Okay, what's your activity? I am a merchandiser, pero me encargo de hacer esto. I, eh, ¿qué hace? La actividad que hace un merchandiser. Quisiera saberlas todas para poderlas ayudar a elaborarlo, pero cada uno trate de buscar cómo se dice si no me pregunta de manera directa en WhatsApp y con gusto le respondo. Ok. Ok. Let's continue. So that's just an idea. Ok. Are we learning? Yes. Estamos aprendiendo un poquito. Yes. Eh, Miss, okay. eh, ¿en, qué, ¿en cuál está esa, esa, esa conversación de work, work? We are doing right now 4.6. Three. Oh yes, no yeah. Six. Two. Actually, yes, he's the manager. Uh huh. Four point six, right? No, three point six. Sorry, three point six. Okay, he said four point six. Three point six. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now let's do this together. 
going back to what, where, and how. What information, where, places, and how, como. Okay? Let's do it together. Okay. For number one, what does your sister do? My sister is a nurse. So my question would be? My question would be? ¿Cuál de esas tres? Give me. Where does she like? What does she like? Or how does she like it? How like How like it? How like it? How, how like does she like it? How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. <clears throat> Esa es otra cosa. Puede ser algo negativo, pero te gusta. O sea, puede ser como, está un poco complicado mi trabajo, pero me gusta. So, es lo que pasa en el caso de ella. She's a nurse. Dice, es difícil, probablemente por el horario. It's difficult, pero le encanta o le gusta. But she loves it, okay? So you could be an auditor or you could be a teacher and say, oh, it's tough, but I like it. I love it. You're passionate about it, okay? So it's something that you like. Number two, where does your brother work? What does your brother work? Or how does your brother work? The where answer at the airport. Work, 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 place, work. Because here we have the airport. Very good, excellent. Where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot, okay? He's a pilot, very good. Okay, our next one. Oh, where does he like it? How does he like it? Or what does he like it? He really, How he doesn't does really he like, like it. How does he like it? How does he like it? How does he like it? He doesn't really like it. No le gusta mucho, la verdad. Okay. Um, number three. Where do your parents like the, their jobs? What do your parents like their job? Or how do your parents like their job? How, like how, how do your do parents you like, like their job? Jobs? Okay, how do your parents like their job? Very good. <clears throat> Number four. Oh, the answer is, oh, I guess they like them. Okay, so yeah, it's okay. So that's what it says. Like, si, yo creo que le gusta. So she doesn't really know. Next one. I don't remember what do they where, work? Where, where do work. they work or how where, do they work? Where? where? I don't remember. In an where office in the work? city. Uh -huh. No me acuerdo dónde trabajan. I don't remember. No me acuerdo. No where recuerdo. do they work? Mm -hmm. In an office in the city. Very good. Next one. Where do you do? Where do you do? What do you do? Or how do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Very good. What do you do? This is another one that we can add. Let me go to the chat here. Hey, Asin, what do you do? Okay, ah, oh, we have it here. What do you do? Oh, I organize. I teach. You could also answer eso. What do you do? Yo puedo contestar. I teach. I am. Um, I. Uh -huh. I teach, I organize, I clean, I talk to customers, hablo con los clientes, um, I fix, arreglo algo, I fix machines, um, I eh, do reports, hago reportes. Okay. Es como la actividad de lo que tú haces en cuanto a tu profesión o tu ocupación en tu trabajo. Okay, what do you do? Ah, yo hago reportes, yo limpio, yo arreglo, yo, okay? So that's what it, what's the question? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Our next one, I see. How do you like your classes? What do you like your classes? Or where do you like your classes? I see. How do you like your classes? What do you like your classes or where do you like your classes? I see what you like. Do not work. I see. How, how do you like your do, classes? How do you like? Mm -hmm. How do you like your classes? They're good. I like them a lot. Y si yo les pregunto, guys, how do you like, how do you like your English class? ¿Cuál es su respuesta? 
What's your answer? Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it? Yes. Okay, like the teacher showing kisses everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you love your English. It's class, okay. okay. It's okay? Mm. That's very tough. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Very good, very good. Okay, so how do you like your classes? They're good. I like them a lot. Okay. Good job. See, you have them all correct. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. Questions so far? No? Nope. No questions? No? Okay. Let's go with our next one. Talking about, now we're going to talk a little bit about adjectives regarding your job. So start thinking. Empiecen a como describir mentalmente. Escriban como Quiero que escojan tres adjetivos en cuanto a su trabajo. Por ejemplo, dangerous puede ser peligroso, puede ser emocionante y puede ser cansado. Entonces vamos a elaborar una lista de adjetivos en base a su ocupación. Así que hagan tres and have them ready after the video. Three adjectives that Hi describe everyone. your job. In this class, you of adjectives, particularly you learn B plus adjective and noun adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the example on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job, after that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our... I'm going to stop there porque quiero que hagamos el ejercicio aquí en el chat, in this chat, in Zoom. Everybody, yeah, ayer vimos cada uno su profesión, right? Yes, todos tienen su profesión en inglés. Entonces, la estructura yes. va a ser la siguiente. Ah... Uh, Teachers, or for example, a math teacher's job is, y tres adjetivos, okay? Ta, ta, y ta. Y yo le voy a ayudar con los adjetivos. That's the idea. Uh, auditor's job is, tres adjetivos que describan cómo es su trabajo. Eh, peligroso, interesante. How is it? Interesting, dangerous, okay? So depending on for, for each one. I'm going to write my, my my example, and I'm going to make my example. Pueden ver mi pantalla, yeah? Sí. Okay. ¿Cómo sería cansado, Miss? Okay, ahorita empiezo. Cansado is tired. Mm -hmm. Ah, tired. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, a teacher's job is interesting. I can say interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesante. Uh, eh, ¿Podría ser este uh, estresado? Stressful. Stressful. That's for... mm -hmm. Anybody else? Quiero que todos me den adjetivos porque le voy a ayudar a elaborarlos para que ustedes después me manden su oración ya con sus adjetivos. Mm -hmm. Tell me, escucho. 
Heavy. Heavy de pesado. Sí. Heavy. Ahora bien, le voy a enseñar una herramienta. Which is called. Uh, en línea. Se llama thesaurus. What I do here is un, como un diccionario de sinónimos. Ok, por ejemplo, when I have heavy, y yo quiero buscar otros sinónimos para heavy, ok, y me va a dar como los que están en amarillo, se alejan mucho a, realmente a la definición o el sinónimo que yo ando buscando. Entonces tiene sinónimos y antónimos. Pero, por ejemplo, is exhausting, or is excessive, de cansado, is excessive. So it gives you um, synonyms for the word that you're looking for, un sinónimo para la palabra que usted busca. Ok. Le da significado, le da muchas cosas. Y abajo le da los antónimos y una, un par de oraciones para cada uno de ellos. That's good. When you want to look for a word. Ok. Ok. Going, moving forward. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otro adjetivo? Give me other adjectives, please. Uh -huh. These are adjectives. Difficult. Okay, very good. Difficult. Okay. Eh, difficult. Sería dificultoso o. Difícil. Difícil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Boring. Boring. Bored. Aburrido. Mm -hmm. Okay. Motiv motivado. Exciting. 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 Mm -hmm. Exciting. Very good. What else? Es What else? I'm sorry? Es, es, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia fácil? Easy. Easy. Sería easy. 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 And this one is exciting. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Then we have bored. Tired. Maybe make it big. Difficult. <clears throat> What else? Another adjective for your dots? Dangerous. Good, dangerous. Which is? Den de rust. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. Danger. Den de rust. Okay, very good. What else? Bien pagado. Well paid, bien pagada. Si fuera un trabajo muy bien pagado, un adjetivo. Or bad paid. Well paid or bad paid. Uh, uh, exigente. Demanding. 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 What else? Gratificante. Gratifying. Gratifying. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, this one could be our one. I saw it. Gratifying. Very good. Refreshing. Toxic. <laughs> Pleasant. Toxic. Swell. Stressful. Mm 
mucha responsabilidad. Eh... Podría ser tal vez exhausto. With a lot of responsibility. With a lot of responsibility. Con mucha responsabilidad. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. With a lot of responsibility. I'm sorry? Proactivo. Proactive. Proactive. Mm -hmm. Very good. Another one. I'm going to send you this one too. Miss, eh, al menos en mi punto de vista no logro ver este el, el, el complemento de las palabras que usted está escribiendo. No sé, no sé los demás. One minute. Which one? This one. Sí, this one. Excel. El que no puede ver. Sí, este, lo que es este, lo, lo otro, lo que está en, en azul. Dangerous, well, y todo eso. Eh, no se puede ver el complemento. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí. Ok, maybe it was too. Ajá, porque es Excel. Ok. Estamos. You're welcome. Ok, what else? What else? What else? Responsibility. Mm -hmm. another, another adjective? Otro adjetivo que se que puedan pensar. Adjectives. Con ah, quizás miren esta también. Demanding, demandante, con retos, repetitivo. I like this one. Let's see. Where are you? Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Me dijo alguien con retos. Sí, yo creería que cabe en lo que es el mío. Challenging. Porque, uh -huh. porque a veces tengo que, me, digamos que tengo un, un objetivo y tengo que. Ok, challenging. Cómo Ahorita se los mando. Eso se los voy a mandar igual, más ordenadito, ok? En WhatsApp. Ok, dangerous. So looking into adjectives, what else? Sí, demandante, demanding, challenging, con retos, repetitivo, repetitive, I said lo mismo, uno after another one, rewarding. rewarding, this job makes you feel satisfied, uh -huh. yo me siento orgullosa en mi trabajo, rewarding, glamorous, glamoroso, lonely, solitario, okay. Ahora bien, algo que no hemos hablado, hay trabajos que son full time y part time. Part-time es como trabajar medio tiempo. And full-time es toda la jornada laboral. Okay, that's another one. Full-time and part-time. Let me send you this image. Okay. Eh, cuando dice full-time, es full-time. Uh -huh. Y part-time o sea... solo es medio, medio. Full-time, part-time. Mm -hmm. El part time, no, no, no entiendo, o sea, solo parte. Solo son cuatro horas, solo es como medio tiempo. Ah, part, ah, part, part. Yes, part time. Part time. Yes. Part time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. No. Okay, this one. Let's go to this one. I want easy. From this list that I sent you, from this list, <clears throat> with this list, what can you, which ones get your attention? ¿Cuáles le llaman la atención from this list for the adjectives? Mm -hmm. El mío puede ser dangerous. Dangerous, okay. Uh, I have a picture. Oh, never mind. Here, okay, this one. From this image, uh -huh. dangerous. El mío es, es el force y es eh, motivado también. Okay. Porque. So, re, I think English, I think that for example, once that we could say, you'd say great. Okay, like this one would be a good one, great. 
¿Cómo puedo de...? Perdón, Miss, eh, buena question. Yes. Buena question. Eh, cuando es, digamos que este... Uh, no siempre es full time, sino que es variado. ¿Cómo podría especificar solamente variado? Como por horas. En inglés solo existe por horas. Hours. Hourly. Uh -huh. In English uh, it's just hourly. Like pero, pero, pero en el caso de que yo quiero poner, digamos que, por ejemplo, tengo un horario variado en el cual tal vez quiero dar a entender en que a veces trabajo full time y a veces trabajo part time. Ah, ok. It's a schedule flexible. flexible. No, no sé, como en inglés podría solo decir flexible schedule o no podría decir variado, solo es como por horas. Por horas. By hours. Uh -huh. Y si, di, si quiero decir un horario flexible. Flexible. Flexible Fle schedule. Flexible. Flexible. Mm -hmm. okay, flexible schedule. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, wow, como siempre, one hour sí. that flying. flying. Eh, see you tomorrow. Rito. We're going to finish. Mañana es día de midterm. Espero que lo podamos hacer todos por si tienen alguna duda de este primer midterm. Okay, so we're going to be working on that tomorrow. Rito. Again, thank you so much for always connecting. Gracias por conectarse como siempre. And have a wonderful night, okay? See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Night. Bye. Bye, Good teacher. Night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Tienen tarea, así que háganla para que practiquen. Bye, guys. Okay, teacher. Bye. <laughs> okay. Night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye.